Hey guys, this is Nando's Master. Welcome to Star Drive 2. Uh, we are going to be playing um, a game uh, with the Space Bears and this epic 4x strategy game. Um, this game is really hard. I mean, I tried it with the UFS, the humans, uh, for like 17 hours. Uh, epic struggle. Uh, and it was constant warfare. Uh, no peace whatsoever. Um, the game doesn't have any uh, alternative to war, so all you can do is wage war and you know plan for the next one. Uh, but still, very this is really fun. Um, well, um, let's let's start, right? Um, we are going to be playing with the space bears, the Gorati. Um, they they have been customized a bit because. Um, or originally they had ponderous space fighters and fusion warriors, but uh, you are you already have bonus for the from the high she homeworld for for grand battles, right? Um, you have the rich homeworld, um, eco friendly. Rich homeworld means more production at your homeworld. Eco friendly means less pollution, and you know less pollution is more industry. Clumsy spice means um, that I have a um, reduced spiral. Uh, it's not that big, uh, that much of a deal. The, the spice system is really uh, restricted. Uh, the main advantage you can have with it is just defend against other spies trying to take uh, take uh, touch away from you. The quality engineers mean like every model on your ship will have 25% more uh, hit points, so your ships will last uh, a lot longer. And professional military gives you a uh, 10, uh, 10 hit point bonus on your ground troops. And the Gurati uh, really need that because they are going to be storming a lot of planets. All of this my Gurati win. Um, but the bonus base fighters was too much. Um, because you, you, you get a malus to space fights and you already have a lot of bonuses for ground combat so we'll take that and we are going to be playing in a epic match with 7 opponents normal difficulty, everything is default here uh, we are going to go 80 systems and clusters. Okay, everything else is classic. No tutorials, I already played through them. Randomized personalities, neither. I want the same guys as, uh, as always. Disable attacks, this is a new option that Zero put in to disable any external attacks, um, which is quite useful because the game is a lot harder with those attacks turned on. Um, I'm going to uh, leave it at default, uh, so it's, it's they are going to be coming. Um, the same thing with uh, hostile threats. Um, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, wormholes that would uh, pop out, uh, all, all those kind of things. So, let's begin. It was the evening after a great battle when the elders told us their scholars and effective recovery. Uh, it's really. It's very strange that all the riches in the universe, or at least all we know about, invented the star drive at uh, the same time. Uh, that part is a little hard to believe, but <laughs> then again, it's a little hard to believe that there are somewhere in space where there are uh, out there somewhere. So, <laughs> okay, let's start. So, uh, my home system sucks uh, because I only have God Chance. Size my home world. At least my position is not that bad. Um, this is my cluster, and I have access to another one that's relatively close. Uh, this one is really isolated. These two can go to war immediately. Uh, uh, there's going to be another race here that we're going to have to fight because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. That means that these are actually two um, clusters. So that means uh, war pretty much right away. And um, we have three gas giants and my home. So uh, what are the bears doing? Uh, 
not much apparently. Um, so this is uh, my core space and this is my empire space. Uh, this doesn't mean much because the AI can just go there and colonize any wall. So it's not like it's a frontier or you know the empire limits or country limits. Uh, but it, it does um, present a way to see how much your influence extends. So we are going to have to scout quickly, try to take the best planets away from these guys here. So I'm going to be moving on that direction, um, but I also want to get the best planets. So, uh, I'm going to use the scout to quickly scout here and use the colony ship to, uh, you know, get through these planets. In my experience, uh, orange uh, stars don't have the best planets, but yellows do. So, I'm going to start with these yellow stars first um, with the scout. And since all these systems are much fierce influence, uh, there is no threat from um, pirates or whatever, so that means I can safely send my colony ship. Um, since I usually build right away a second explorer, when I'm, but in this case, uh, since all the stars are so close together, I don't think I'm going to uh, spend that much time exploring. So instead, I'm going to build my freight fleet. Why? Because I expect that my first plan is not going to be uh, very good with food, so it's probably going to help a lot uh, to have freight the fleet going. And also going to queue up a colony ship because I should be expanding as soon as possible. Um, uh, I should look into ship designs because the AI will just rip me, through, rip me through shells here if I don't have any defense um, uh, no let's go well first we'll make the free defeat and then we'll see maybe there is another blind that is very good and I had to take it so so um, research research um, Usually what I do is I try to see what are the uh, racial traits that can most profit from the research. Like when I have smart races, uh, for example, uh, when I have um, industrial, in, industrial races, I have um, a bonus to, to, to research. Um, I usually go for the Imperial University instead of Research Lab. Why? Because the Research Lab gives you one research per scientist and five flat research. Um, that that makes sense if your scientists are not that good, but if your scientists are good, that means that you will get uh, double the bonus. Because if, you, if your scientists are smart, they already are generating three research per scientist. So you have six research, and if you get the Imperial University, that means with that bonus that you get three plus three means six, six, six research per scientist. However, if you did if you didn't have the smart trait, that means you will get five research per scientist. Um, so the the research lab means it is better when I mean. The Imperial University is better when you have a bonus to, to that area, to research. So when I'm playing the humans, for example, that they have an industrious and a smart um, bonus, I, I usually go for the Cinemine and the Imperial University. Because I know in the long run I will get better bonuses that way. But in this case, the Space Bears um, don't have those bonuses. They don't have any bonus to industrial or I mean eco-friendly is an industrial bonus but it's not directly correlated um, so so I'm going to go for flat bonuses in this game 
That means automated rubber bay, aeroponic farm, and research lab. Since I'm going to be focusing on expanding as soon as possible, I'm going to make a partic particularly focus in production. So we are going to start out with automated rubber bay. It's, it gives you one product per worker and five flat production bonuses. We'll probably go to the uh, aeroponic farm then and later research lab. So, um, plan is producing, everything is researching, let's start passing the drums. Okay, mm, well system, oh, oh, what a great planet, 2, 3, 2, and 12 pop, awesome planet, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I, I'm lucky to have it. Um, I'm tempted to turn my colony ship away. <laughs> um, okay, let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's see what's here and then come here. But I'm going to be exploring this system now. Uh, I'll probably go for that second colony ship. I think. Let's see here. Oh, one, two, two, five max pop, but what that EM field? Oh, special project to fix that. Uh, still, is this planet is much better than anything, so we're going to be colonizing as soon as possible. Uh, seven turns. Okay, I can live with that. So, I'm going to be building at least a couple of warships, so it's better if I check out the default the designs to see if they are any good. We saw a rocket. Wow, this is a Corvette. It's quite well armed for a Corvette. I like it. I don't like this. Corvettes should be all for firing. I mean, there is no. And it has to overload. There is no. There is not ma that much of a chance for. I mean, there is no much of a point. Because Corvettes are fast. They, they should close in and overwhelm their opponents with four firing. It, it doesn't make sense to have them. They are glorified um, fighters. I mean, they they are not. There are heavy fighters in the game, so Corvettes are not heavy fighters, but they they handle light fighters. Um, I don't know which is which race has the most four firing models on on their ships, but um, so maybe if we get. Laser cannons here and here. This is a better design. Um, it's going to be more expensive and has like <laughs> no chance whatsoever. Fall cells, uh, fuel cells are not needed. Let's see if we can get a full capacitor. Laser cannons. So I need to sacrifice some of this. Uh, let's see if I can. No, I know what the problem is. This needs another reactor. Now, infinite. Okay, much better. So let's see. If I can have all these cannons here, infinite. Okay. So this is a much better design, in my opinion, because the laser cannons are going to be able to fire forward, um, and that's how this kind of design is going to be used by me. I'm going to amass corvettes uh, like a fighter swarm and use them usually to 
flank the main fleet, uh, the main enemy fleet, and just go for their artillery and support vessels. So we'll change the name here. I use a convention to uh, to specify the hull and roll of the ship. So in this case, a corvette and it's for swarming. There is no other role for corvettes in my experience. Uh, only swarming. And swarming means uh, cheap ships, glass cannons, basically. Um, let's. We'll use some name there. This is the Mark One. So yeah, this is going to be my Corvette. Um, I'm not going to go into frigates yet. Um, I'm just going to build a couple of Corvette. Um, the Razor, we are not, we are not going to use it. We are going to use this custom design. So let's build uh, two of them and then the color shape. Maybe we will change the the build key order, but uh, at this point, uh, I think we are quite quite good. So let's hit turn. Maybe find out. Oh, I have an event here. Oh no, these are like, yeah, um, neutral tents. Uh, they don't do much uh, yet. I I'm expecting Zero to come up with some great uh, things uh, for, for you know, neutral, neutral factions and neutral planets um, in some expansion later on. So, this system is better than it looks. The diamond rain usually is very good. Uh, you get a lot of money this, that way, but the planet is like crap. 50% maintenance. It could be good to colonize it for the diamond rain only. We'll see. This one, delicacies. 5% approval. 10% approval if I have monopoly. And this one is not quite good. Fire elements. Creatures made of pure flame. Wow, that's cool. Uh, Terraform this planet. Uh, and then, then this planet suffer. Reproduction uh, bonus. 10% uh, ship speed intact. That's quite good, but. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll probably get the diamond ring. Not just now. Okay, let's go into the other edges, and um, we need to really start going this way um, to try to block off the expansion of the other race here. Um, if you turn to the automatic grower bay, we should get it sooner, but I don't want to. No, I'm going to have to wait. Okay, the GCC. Ah, Zero fixed the sound issue uh, at last because this uh, screen was really loud and you couldn't do anything. The volume didn't have anything to do with the volume of the whole game. I don't know why. Okay, he's going to talk about the races that are coming, the species that are coming, blah blah blah. Okay, freighter fleet has been completed. We have freighters. Great. Um, we're going to be colonizing in four turns that great planet here and go up. Um, just, just turn. Wow, fuck. Uh, damn it, I have incoming ships. These are crucial. They are pretty, pretty damn bad. So let's run away. They, they will turn back. They will turn back, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, colonizing this and uh, uh, what's really missing here is housing like in uh, Master of Orion 2 right this game is pretty much a clone of Master of Orion and you have housing there which was a project that will increase that would increase the um, the population growth in the planet um, so it would be good to 
you know, add it. Um, so what can I build here? There's nothing I can build here. Yeah, let's start with that. As soon as I have the rubber bay, I will start building the rubber bay. Um, um, take this, minus one. I don't have any other choice but to leave it here. Okay. Um, so, ah, crystal fleet. Ah, damn it. Still, that means these two systems are unavailable to me. So I will have to go here. Yeah, I know. First, Razor Cloud is complete. I still need to find another planet to colonize, and this will take five turns. And it will be the, another corvette instead of the colony ship. We need to find a good planet to colonize. Okay, okay, now uh, we'll be exploring here in the meantime. Another event. Uh, Wales system. Wales 1. Oh my god. Great planet. Yeah, yeah. 212. Two, two. Okay, yeah. Even if it has little production, it has full. That's really important. And a proto free cache. This resource is pretty good. Up, and you have less pollution, that means more, more production. Yeah, great, awesome. Yeah, I want it right now. Um, and a cele could be good. Let's see. Two, three, two. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's better even. It, it has less population but more production. And there is a wormhole here. I need to know where this wormhole goes right now. And I need another colony ship as soon as possible to colonize uh, first a cell and then ways. Um, yeah, also, yeah, I want it right now. So, we need another farmer here so we can move this guy to production. We still don't have the automatic rubber bait done. Okay, let's go. Uh, another event. Another racer claw. Right. Okay. Turn. Oh my god. <laughs> I have a wormhole to another cluster. God damn it. I need to watch this system because uh, at any point uh, an enemy armada can come here. I mean, these guys are going to want to spam and they they are obviously going to choose me as a target because they have a wormhole to, to my space. I mean, they could conquer here, but it's harder. So I'm expecting them to come t for me. <laughs> yeah, pretty soon actually. So. I need to colonize this wall as soon as possible so uh, as to establish a presence here and monitor this wormhole. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. Um, there's no point in trying to scout out here. I need to better yet scout here. So I'm going back where I came. Um, this is the Karui uh, Mercury system. This one has food at least. 25% maintenance. Yeah. And lambda seeds. Okay, more food. Okay, great. Yeah, I need this one. Um, yeah, first cell, then walls, then mercury. That's my colonization order. Um, okay. Um, yeah, great. So, we'll send this ship here, and this one here, and hit her. Uh, it's building. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, 
let's go here, try to scout out as soon as possible what the other player is doing. And we need to pump out colony ships. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 26 turns. I'm going to get my new bear next turn. Great, so I have another bear here. Awesome, I have more food. I need that food for this planet. And I'm going to get the automatic rubber bay soon enough. When I get it, okay. When I get it, I'm going to be building it on both planets and then continue with the connection. Okay, let's switch low. What do we have here? 132 solid planet I like it and I should be getting it before I sell it because that means that these guys are going to be expanding into my territory, uh, territory much sooner than these guys so I should colonize let's see let's let's so before I sell it that means that next colony ship is going to go here, next colony ship after that is going to go here. And let's see, a lower two gas shines, no problem, but a wormhole. That means problems. Uh, I hate wormholes. I mean, they, they, they make for great tactical decisions, but they also screw up your plans. Uh, it means like you cannot uh, rely on natural borders. So let's see where this one goes. And um, yeah, these ships are not designed for exploration. So I'm going to just set it here to wait for the colony ship. And after I'm, go I'm going through this, um, I will come back, go to Rati, and then go here with the exploration frigate. Because this guy has a lot of, uh, you know a lot of fuel cells so it can go much further than any combat ship ok let's hit turn go for that automatic cover bay so now that I have that I'm going to be yeah ok we'll get one foot here Build automatic rover right here on a well up. We'll have one production here and build the automatic rover bay. Okay, so both planets are building the automatic rover bay. Obviously, the homework will complete it much faster than well up, but I had to use um, another fair bear as uh, you know a farmer because. Otherwise, I wouldn't have enough food for Wallab. And if I didn't, I hadn't, you know, created that freighter, I wouldn't be able to do it. That's why I always go first for a freighter. But, you know, that's just, just me. And, god damn it! Ah. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Crystal fleet means I will not be able to supply Wallet with food because they will just keep destroying my freighters and I cannot face uh, Crystal Armada at this point. I mean, I just can't. Crucius, I need to go away here. Diamondite, more hit points. Straight and then undergo underground ocean, yeah. So, this is like an, um, two wormholes, two wormholes from their space to my space. Okay, yeah, yeah. Can you make it more easier for them to invade? I can you really? <sighs> it's shit. Okay, uh, I'm going back. Um, um, I'm sorry, but I will not be able to to feel well up 
with freighters. I'm going to have to wait 28 turns to finally get the automatic rover bay. Let's see, maybe I'm lucky, but I don't think so. Mm. I can also buy it. Uh, I had to raise taxes a lot to be able to buy it. 320. Okay, let's see. Um, it's, I'm pretty sure that this freighter is, is toast, but let's see. Okay, yeah, yeah, uh, maybe. We'll see. So this guy should have. Oh, he has 450. Okay, let's continue then. Here, man. Um, automatic overbay. Yeah, let's go. Come on. The terrorists, the robotic bugs that always try to kill you. Explore, expand, <laughs> exploit. Yeah, exterminate, come on. Don't lie, that's what you really want to do. Okay. Um. System. Demo rain, another one. Yeah, I would be awesome to get it. Um, yeah, keep going. I need to explore. We we'll go here, then here. And probably run out of fuel, so we'll go back to Ratty. And come on, finish that automatic rubber bay. Okay, yeah, I got it. So, come on. Daddy needs that connection. Okay, here. On vuelo. Asteroids, not my thing. Let's go here. Uh, yeah, finally, uh, I didn't have problems with that crystal fleet. That's awesome. Mission your fleet. Yeah, they are very hostile. God damn it. So, Raymond are here. The good thing is that they are going to stop the, ex the, ex the expansion by the other player. So that should be good. The point is that the problem is that they are also going to be stopping my advance. Um, I'm going to need to colonize here or at least a refueling station here. Maybe in between these planets. If, because if you make the refueling station in a gas giant, it, it comes free, right? You don't have to supply it with freighters. That's the thing. So let's run away. That's what we do best. <laughs> okay. Variants. So I need more combat chips. They're going to be coming for me. Um, I have two combat chips. It's better if I show them. Yeah. Let's have them orbit toward. Uh, okay. Yeah. Relationship. Come back to door. Okay. Um, Golden ship. Eight turns, three turns, four turns for the opponent farm. Right. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Yeah, run out of fuel. 
automatic rubber bay what can I do here nothing yet mm, I guess I can start with the infantry base and I will get the aeroplane farm as soon as possible okay Okay, okay. Let's get the farm. Also, an indoor. I have four turns until the common ship. So, after that, we could build another pony farm, and then probably another crow, and then a common ship. Um, so, the target is, let's say so. Um, this one, one, three, two, and then a cell. And then waves fighting because it's in the back part of my emperor, so I'm not worried that much that someone else might take it. And then probably I'll build a construction ship and get. A refueling station up here, and if I go from here to here, I'm going to probably run into the remnant. Um, I don't know, it's still a long way. Just research, research lab again. If I had a small trade, I would go for Imperial University. The same way with the Xeno mine and the automatic rubber bay and hydroponic farms and soil enrichment. Um, okay. Fleet is here. Base. Colony ship is coming. Colony ship is here. Fleet colonized. Let me search. Okay, it's building here, a pony farm, great. Uh, okay, this is exploration frigate. So, we we'll go to Lesney So, refuel there, and then continue until Ambuelo, and probably here. Okay. Another species makes the news. Mm. United Federation. Damn humans. You dirty apes. Arrogance and greed. Yeah, that's us. Base monkeys. Well, I have two Fante base. Yeah, um, come on, more production, more production, more production. Awesome. Okay, we're putting farm here, and then we are getting another. Another bear for industry, and then colony ship. Another colony ship. Colony ship. Colony ship. No. Uh, yeah, about this because I'm worried that whenever we encounter the first race, they are going to think we are weak and just attack. We are going to be death defensive. So that's why even if you didn't make any contact with another species, you should have a battle fleet. Even if it is only three corvettes, colonize it. Um, uh, we'll need freighter to fit this one, and probably go for the rover bay and the robot farm. Twenty turns. Okay. So now here we completed this, and we go like this, and we get it in two turns. Okay. And then the next colony ship. 
right parameters so it will be 30 frames okay can do that god damn it bread fleet Yeah, I'm going to need a frigate to deal with these guys. Probably. So. No, this is a cruiser. No. Explorer. Long Talon. Long Talon. Why, why use armor if this is an artillery ship? I mean, yeah, you can use it, but to me it's pointless. Um, Tannin Striker. The question is, can the question is, can I improve this design? I don't think I do. It's quite good already. Yeah, the only problem is like this attack behavior for position. Uh, I don't believe I can improve this. It's already quite good. The speed is quite slow. Which one I build? Which one should I build? The Long Talon or the Talon Striker? Let's see, this is like 4 or 5 turns away. So, 7 turns, 18 turns. Striker is five turns. So we are going to go with the Dun Striker because it's cheaper than a long talon. Long talon, whatever. So yeah, we can rush it if we see that we cannot build it on time. So yeah, I know. Okay. okay, and this one is fuel and ready to go. So we're going to try to evade these guys by going here. Turns. This is going to take three chops. Yeah, we're going to build it just. Save here quickly. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, I have a star base. I have forgotten about that. It's like it's not even it's not even worth fighting. Why did I make the, all those preparations? I mean, still, it's, it's good to have a battle fleet uh, up and going. So, this is going to be easy, very easy, and I'm going to play it the small way. That means letting the star base do all the work. You could say that it's also the, you know, the cowardly way of doing it <laughs> but I think it's smart it's better at least the name <laughs> because come on do a little thick uh, thick thug come on don't 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 just come straight away that's stupid come on 
Okay, th this guy is not doing what uh, these ships always do, that is make a zigzag pattern and try to evade the fire from the star drive, the star base. I think the problem is that uh, the fleet here, this guy is tar targeting my fleet, so it's using a, a fleet AI instead of using a, a, the AI for the uh, star base. But still, it, sh it should realize that there is a star base there. My fleet is not moving because it's waiting for the other guy to come. I, I, I think this is quite dumb. Come on. A plus, a pirates? Come on, they're going to raid a, f a homeworld? A, a goddamn homeworld? No, they're not going to raid a homeworld. They know they're going to lose. So, it doesn't make any sense. It's still, it's good because. It makes you constantly have to uh, be prepared to engage in battle, even when you are at peace. That part is great. What is not great is the fact that uh, there is no other way to win the game that's not wishing war. But that's not that great, but that's another thing. Okay. Mm. So, calling ship, I sell it. That's the net plan, and then, you know, find out what the hell is here. Um, a cele and waste for now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Production, colony ship, lower bay, infantry base, research lab, and fight us. Okay. Infantry base has been completed. Completed. Um, yeah, we are going. To be building a fleet again here probably because our, co our core walls are going to be building ships and trade goods it could be good but nah, nah. let's start with fleet academy and then when we get the research lab we'll switch it Okay. Research lab. Awesome. One research per scientist. No, oh, another, another remnant. God damn it. Ah. No, come back. So this thing is crucial in this game. It, when you are exploring, if you don't want to lose ships, you need to pay attention to them. I mean, I could easily have, you know, press baseball rather quickly sometime and not pay attention to my exploration and I, I, uh, I will lose the ship uh, I will probably lose the ship I mean I can attempt to retreat but sometimes you can't especially against uh, crystals and remnants I mean against pirates you can usually uh, retreat but these kind of ships has, are much farther, uh, faster than pirates so um, What are we going to be researching now? So I have these two categories with 88 points So I usually go for the cheaper ones always uh, Plasma fuel cells are quite good period. They will help me in invade their planets But plasma cans are, are also very good Defensive first are not that important in my experience. Um, they use for uh, you know uh, get around missiles, but there are other ways of doing that. Plasma cannons are very good offensive weapons. Um, I I use a lot of uh, plasma cruisers in the early game. They are quite good. You can also use solar armor. Um, for your ships, although I'm, I'm not that good on it. Ion beams are, are pretty good weapons. They are great weapons. And they can be used to equip um, fighters, which I don't have yet, but I plan on getting. I mean, uh, fighters are like, you have to have fighters. They are a great way of taking out enemy ships. Uh, not at all, uh, enemy ships and defensive structures, because Unless you have artillery cruisers, which I plan on getting as well, uh, fighters are the best way of dealing with 
uh, star bases and artillery uh, ships uh, and missile frigates especially because the AI uses a lot of missile frigates so we're going to go um, plasma fuel cells here and then ion beams here so we are going to be passing on the plasma cannons but getting the ion beams for our designs and also pump up uh, our fighters when we get them so I don't know go for ion beams first no let's go for plasma fuel first great so yeah, uh, I know this is tedious, but uh, I'm always checking what my planets are doing because I hate for a planet to be building nothing. Uh, I already su suggested to Zero that the creator of the game that uh, if a planet is doing nothing, it should at least switch its project to trade goods so it starts making money at least. Um, and it, it would be awesome if you had a small notification that said. This planet doesn't have anything on its view queue that would be great as well. Okay, let's go. So, my fleet is here. Awesome. My ship is running away. It should do. Come on, stop persecuting me. God damn it. Um, we'll go here and then here. Try to evade this remnant fleet. <coughs> My wall is doing collision. Okay. No! Oh, come on! Come on! This is really annoying! Maybe I can get the two fleets to fight each other. Yeah, maybe they can fight each other. And then clear out this. Okay, so research lab and probably a long talon and then a colony ship. And Waleb is going to be building a research lab as soon as it finishes this. Um, I should be building here. Fleet Academy. Yeah, but I need another colony ship. Okay, we'll build our search lab, a current ship here, and then our wallet. We'll be building search academy and a long talent here instead of the research lab. Okay, great. So, my plan here is to get both fleets to fight each other. We'll see if that, uh, you know, actually works, but I've seen it happen, so it can happen. Ah, damn it. Oh, the Riley. Okay. Knowing that you must die, we greet you with the heaves of hearts. Yeah, like you care. My accolade are of the really devoted. Perhaps in time you can be saved. Yeah, I don't think you can be saved. Um, awesome. going to have to take this fleet at least to open up because otherwise I'm going to have to maneuver around them to get to Rayleigh it's going to be a pain in the ass okay yeah a ah, crystals come on <laughs> come on This system, always. Yeah, I'm going to have to establish a refueling station here on on, on Wallow, and I'm going to have to fight this fleet probably. But this one is easier. But then I have to go like this. Yes. So, yeah, yeah, we were 
ship itu dan want to see everyone there. Oh yes. This one has great production. Yeah, over one can be useful. Okay, let's start. Let's try to evade this. We'll be going this way and then try to come back to our space. Um, strike up a defensive fleet just in case but instead of going all out on war on Rayleigh let's go let's build some of the strength first and not be that aggressive we st they still have to fight through one crystal fleet and two remnants fleet so I'm not that worried about them I'm worried about these guys here Wal and, and Ronos and Wal didn't have anything but Ronos uh, had a Crucia so Wal is going to be one of the last systems that really look because it doesn't have any worthy planets but still they are going to come so I need to be ready for that yeah yeah let's leave the Riley for last Really, but we have why well, we have good relationship. Me 
maybe there is something we can do. Yeah. So there are like a hell Imperial Bank is really good. This one, the fusion beam is also really good. Um, fusion beam. Imperial Bank. Solar armor, I don't care for. Imperial University, I don't think I need it. Solar enrichment would be good. Um, so, how much is this one? 360, 360. <laughs> These guys are quite ahead. Mm, fusion beam would be awesome, but it's too expensive for me to get a good deal because I had to trade two of them to get fusion beams. And I still can research fusion beams. However, Imperial Bank. Um, yeah. That one I can research as well. So I can pick another thing on the tree and then go back and trade it for this one. Mm. I'm going to get the zone enrichment. Yes, uh, we could have. I'm not going to give them the research lab. I'm going to give them the aeroponic farm. Because I, I have some plants that already have food. So, soil enrichment would be good to pump that food out. And fusion beam and imperial city. And imperial city is not that, that needed. Fusion beam would be awesome, but I still can research it. And imperial bank as well. So, let's go with this. <laughs> Still, I have enough food, so. But I plan on getting all those plants that don't have any food to get really good production going. And you can see I'm not going into the events. Um, maybe I should. I'm used to always playing defensively. Let's see what is there. Yes, um, I don't have any time to usually I don't have any time to do the events I'm constantly at war so this is the most most peaceful I spent on this game so far um, I'm already like 20 hours in and okay plasma fuel cells this will make it awesome need to get away as far as possible. This will make it great for us to invade Rayleigh really, with plasma fusers. We'll have greater range. Okay, um, mass drivers are awesome against space stations. I'm going to have to get this and the fleet are very as well. But first, Iron Beams. New weapons. Um, we'll probably go for Fighter Bay and Mass Drivers. And then we'll have our fleet of our first two cruisers. A carrier, a missile, missile cruiser with carriers, with fighters. And an artillery cruiser for taking out the space stations. Probably. Okay, I mean, let's see our planets. Moving frigate, a cruise ship, and research lab. Okay, awesome. Uh, we'll be colonizing and sell it. Great. Great. Let's get this one, this one, this one, and this. Um, here, we get one freighter to deliver food. Ready here. So, we're here. Uh, so, Travis can be here. All the people. This one. 
So it gets the more damage it does. So it's really good for. And it has a, a very long cooldown. That's the problem. Ten seconds is a lot. But the damage is continuous, so it's quite good. We we'll probably get um, a cruiser with iron beams uh, if we go to war by then. But. See what we'll research. Yeah, uh, you know that I just did closing all windows with the second mouse button is awesome. All games should have that. All games. There is no excuse for them not having it. So um, fusion engines are great. Fusion power is great, but fusion beam is like the best. And I know these guys have fusion. So, I'm going to research fusion power and trade trade for them fusion beams. <sighs> and then I'm going to get fighter base. And after that, I should have everything I need. No, no, no. Uh, to start the war, yeah, probably. But to finish it, I need my survivors. Let's go for fusion power. I should get Imperial Punk as well because money will become an issue if I don't. Ah, damn it, this game is hard. Okay, um, fusion power, research lab, can I ship? Okay, so now we're going to colonize ways and then Torman. We'll have to get the refueling station here as soon as possible. Yes, will also give us uh, some, you know, sensor range. Let's go. Okay, we are really team. Okay, population growth. I, I get that. Flavor unit boost, find the minute error keys in command key skill 25 points and gain a permanent 5 points. Okay, ground combat. Well, find me ground assault action as an invader if assigned to a ship and a defender if covering a system. It's 8 DBC now, 1 BC per turn. Okay, I, I, I couldn't get any heroes before they, this, so I'm going to get it. I, I shouldn't because I have very little PC. Uh, I, but he can, you know, participate in ground combat. That's all at all, at all. Um, yeah yeah I want the hero because I didn't have any on to this point why are your female skipped <laughs> and we'll be stationing at well up two and two four yeah well up why well up okay but if you're going to go be in well up <coughs> then yeah I'm going I'm probably going to convert this man yeah, maybe before I go to really Yes, come on. It's like 12 12 and it has fossil fauna. I can just use troops to destroy that. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so we have this guy here. I'm going to cause uh, more population growth, and that's great. So, but. Have to raise taxes. Yeah, another way. Um, 
get it to 5% I'll leave it there for now I will probably have to increase it uh, I need an Imperial University come on ok, the fleet is ready so we go see what that event is ok ok let's go here Ground forces, okay. Yeah, I don't like ground forces events. I don't really like ground forces. Ground combat. Let's go to the city. Pony ship. Build. I should get. I should get a cruiser around. Long. Now, if I'm going to build. Combat ship, I should get a fleet academy first. But I'm not convinced I should get a combat ship. At least not here. I should build another colony ship. Yeah, but it would be dangerous to do so. I don't have any need for further proof right now, so that's not a problem. This is a cruiser. Very expensive cruiser. Fleet Academy and then a frigate or soil enrichment. Yeah, I'm going to go for the Fleet Academy on a long talon. That means that 13 turns it would be done, and then I'm going for a colony ship. Okay. This colony ship is going for waste. Freighters is it's going to cause problems. Sometimes it's going to make a real difference. And I mean, you don't want to run out of freighters, really. So I will make a freighter fleet. Okay, we have a fleet coming. It's only one ship, so... Oh, yeah... Use this one... And then use this one over here... So we'll draw the enemy fleet to us. A friend in the... Uh, the Creeper Bay Forest is a very good one. When position of all stolen data can share it to the data is better. This kind of events is all awesome. I mean, they, they bring flavor to the galaxy. Uh, I think the game is much better thanks to them. So, we want to advertise their location on the skirts of your space and meet them and submit this. Uh, all this is that we could approve the criminals and protect the buyers with those cooking them and allow the access. That launch a round strike force to recapture the fleet. Improve relations with the
sensor so much that we might learn from one another. Yeah, I'm going to learn your names on your tombstones. That was pretty harsh. Okay. So, free the free. Yeah, we did that. Ah, damn, crystal treat. Stop trying to destroy my friend. Yeah, I'm alive, so fuck you. So what? Fishing beam for fish. Oh. Fishing beam for Imperial University. Fishing beam. coming up anytime now. the Riley, what the hell is it? Here? No, I guess one already checked. So the, the, the Riley event, where is it? Ah, here, here, okay. Save the stolen data cache, okay. So I have five, five ships here. Should be enough. The engagement range here as far as possible. Then these guys don't really know what I'm going to check their engagement range, but I'm going to make them move as fast as possible. Well, this guy can get a bit of push. Okay, this is a really slow frigate. This guy should not be that slow. This is a way.
hitting the ancients, uh, you know, showing up the ancients too much instead of freaking. They yeah, should be better over there. So, go back to Tor and repair, and then we'll just go here and clean that bounty from the Crater Fleet. Crater Fleet is complete, and now... Strange... We'll probably build up a colony ship here. We could build a small enrichment. Should go for the Star Race. Star Race is a very expensive show, so I should get them as soon as possible here in this core planet. Well, she was my first colony after all. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't want it to lose it. Okay. If it was going from Wales to Wellad, I would lose it. But since it was going from Wellad to Wales, no so I have some spares. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. No. This one is not building anything. Infantry base. Come on. We need to build an infantry base. Then we'll see. The choice don't make it so so much important. I mean, like I don't even see the other choices in that touch tree. I mean, for me, is money is like everything in this game because um yeah, you can raise up the tax rate, but if you do so, then you get less production. Mm -hmm. And then everything takes forever to build. So you you need to get as little money as possible in order to build the things fast enough. Why is it taking sixty nine times to build this? Why? What the fuck? Only one? Tax. Need to lower the taxes. Because otherwise it will take forever. Okay, okay, okay. Forget it. The sports resort on less test so to where for three seeking winter sport massive winter so to be super to yeah great
Okay, I'm going for that. Uh, and hopefully, we can just wait this push as well. Come on, be fast. If we can get some touch from them, it will be a great before we rush them. Lost my cannons, no problem. Pollution principles are very good. I don't have anything to pray for it. And in the center, very universe. Yeah, the only thing I want here is pollution principles, or it's very expensive, so no problem. Trading with these guys would be adventurous because we can just get money from them before repairing them. But I don't have free freighted for any trade thing or anything like that. So we'll not do it just yet. Let's just go do that event. Target the cruisers and target the fighters. Leave the fighters for the corvette and the fighters the navigator. This message should go on. Yeah. I think we're going to do that one. My frigate, these little frigates. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Yeah, 
frigate two corvettes, but broke down uh, two cruisers, a bunch of fighters, and two frigates. a good place to stop. Um, I'm going to be playing. I really want to see what's here, so we'll play uh, shut out a few more charms and then just call it quits for now. Okay. Killbot. <laughs> to uh, you know uh, leave it at uh, 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 it uh, you know it's enough it's like been an hour or something like that so we'll resume later uh, another, another time okay uh, bye guys